in today's video, I do take a hit of marijuana for about mm, 10 seconds, which I've done in over 25 videos, and none of those are restricted. So, not sure why today's video would be any different than all the other tutorials that I've smoked in. Not sure what's going on. I know that there's new YouTube regulations and restrictions, so... We got some drama, Hannah. We got some drama. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. Talking about Jeffree Star, Miss Thing, getting restricted by YouTube. Play the clip, girl. All right, guys, I had to run a few errands today before I leave for my trip tonight, but I'm on the way home, and I'm about to upload a new video. Are y'all ready to see some crazy-ass fucking full coverage foundation? Head on over to my channel right now. It is live. All right, what do you guys think about today's video? What do you think about the foundation? All right, so today's new video already after one hour is age restrict, age restrict, age restricted. Thank you, YouTube. You are so sweet. Now, in today's video, I do take a hit of marijuana for about mm, 10 seconds, which I've done in over 25 videos, and none of those are restricted, so not sure why today's video would be any different than all the other tutorials that I've smoked in. Not sure what's going on. I know that there's new YouTube regulations and restrictions, so... I guess if you are logged in and it's age restricted, I don't know, change your birthday, or I guess you're gonna have to miss this one, you guys. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to fix it. I'm just sitting here like, a foundation review, YouTube, really? That's what we're concerned about? There are so many other fucked up videos and things to worry about. The amount of fake spam bots on my new video is pretty disgusting. Whoever has this much free time really needs some help. Well, there's been a lot of talk about YouTube restricting videos, girl. Maybe I put out videos and you haven't even seen them. Favorite YouTubers are pumping out videos and you're not even watching them either because you're just not seeing them. Now, girl, me, girl, I'm not bothered. I'm going to tell you why because it seems like every year there's some type of drama with YouTube algorithm, girl. Last year it was the glitch, glitch. This year is all about restricting videos and I think... And this may seem a little bit like, what? What's going on? If YouTube finds your videos not to be family friendly, I think that they will restrict your videos so that they can please the advertisers, those people who pay money to put commercials in videos and stuff like that, to please those people. That's just my opinion, girl. So in my opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly, I feel like Jeffree Star should know better, girl. So like smoking weed on camera, although it is legal in some places, in most places, like in my state, it's not legal yet. So I think smoking weed on YouTube videos is what ultimately got his video flagged and I think that he might need to calm down with that just a little bit. That's my opinion, girl. Now you already know with Jeffree Star, girl, I love her so much. I have no issue with bony ass Jeffree Star. I think she's a good girl, but she might get herself with some YouTube drama, girl, if she keeps smoking weed on video and YouTube finds her stuff not to be family friendly. You know, that just kind of sucked the whole YouTube restriction things because like I said, it's YouTube, like it's YouTube. You at home, me, we all make up YouTube. So I kind of just feel like, why are you censoring us just a little bit? You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand there are rules and regulations to the website, but ultimately, why do you have to like, but I just feel I just can't come on here and say what I want to say because I have to be censored about sexual content or whatever like that. Now YouTube released a statement, which is, I'm so surprised it actually did, girl, because there is no YouTube customer support. They always send you like these robotic answers and stuff like that if you ever have a question about anything. But that's just my busted ass, fat ass opinion, girl. Girl. But I just think it really sucks though because if you make a lot of like content like whatever your whole YouTube channel is about like smoking weed and coming up with different formulas and stuff like that Then that means you're not gonna be able to get the reach that you could possibly get or whatever your whole YouTube channel is all about talking about lesbian stuff and gay stuff like all those videos are not gonna be able to be seen and some huge youtubers are like losing subscribers not getting the views and it's so weird. Like, it's so weird how, like, some videos get more attention than others. And they're, it just sucks for a creator to put a lot of effort into their videos and thinking about what they're going to talk about, setting up lights, makeup, all the whole gig, editing, posting on YouTube. Been, like, the whole afternoon doing that. And then for no one to see it because it has the word gay in it or you talk about weed in it or whatever. So the highlight that I'm using today is going to be this one right here. I love it so much. It is very Sailor Moonish, girl. I mean, it's so cool. Check it out. Okay, girl. So if you don't know what's going on, right? So this makeup company called Benefit, girl, banana, banana, but Benefit, girl, Benefit Cosmetics, girl, has gotten hold with some of the most popular beauty gurus on the internet, right? Well, in their eyes. So they basically sent them an email, paid for their flight, hotel, blah, 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 and flew all the beauty gurus 
this little island girl called Nectar Island, right? And they're gonna talk about benefit and promote benefit and blah, blah, blah. Well, it's very interesting, girl, because if you follow all the people who are there on the island, all the beauty gurus, girl, it's so funny that some Snapchat with each other and some don't Snapchat with each other. And I'm starting to think, girl, clock get the house that not all the beauty gurus get along. They may act like it for a little bit on camera, but I clocked it, girl. I don't think, I think some of them be beefing with each other or some of them don't like each other or some of them done stole somebody's man. Who knows, girl? But it's so weird, because like if you follow all of them, you're all getting their Snapchats and their tweets and whatever, whatever. You're getting it all, and they're all doing the same thing. Like, it's just so boring, girl. They're all doing the same thing. If I was there, girl, I wouldn't even Snapchat or nothing. Why, why would I do it? They're already doing it for me. But I really do think that within the beauty community, like the beauty gurus, I really do feel like some of them just don't like each other, and they play nice for camera or on Twitter or social media or whatever. But I ultimately think that they do have issues with each other and secretly they compete for views and stuff like that. It's just so weird. I don't have no proof of this girl, but this is my opinion. I feel like they do, but it's just so interesting to put them on one little island girl and watch them ballot it out for views, girl. And watch their little personalities get on each other's nerves. That could be a whole reality show. You know what I'm saying? I would love to see a show like that where they put all the beauty gurus in one room and watch them fight to the death. Girl. Speaking of fighting to the death, Miss Thing, I posted this video about Nikki Tutorials and my opinion, my Ofra cosmetic scandal, honey, and how it looked a little chalky just a little bit, girl. Well, apparently, y'all were in the comments. Like I said, y'all show me love so much. I love you so much. But by day three, it's already been day three, girl. The trolls are at it again. They're all in that comment section spewing their hate, girl. If you don't believe me, go to that video, click on newest first. That's again, newest first comment. You're gonna see all the little trolls in there, girl. It's all right, they just don't understand. They actually think that I'm like, I don't think they understand my gig, so, you know. Can you imagine? I mean, so many people watch my videos for the first time, and they're like, what the hell is going on? And they watch the next one, next one, I think they find. But I think just to watch the video and just watch me like, what, hey, honey, 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 I think of course they're just like, what's going on? And they just start hating, girl. But if you want to get a good laugh, check out the comment section of that video, girl. New is first. Okay, honestly, this Marc Jacobs thing that I got, girl, I'm not loving it. Let me tell you why. And I'm going to keep it. Trust and believe I'm going to keep it. I only use this one right here. This one's sickening the house. This one right here busted the house. You can see I actually use it on this little $3 one. So, yeah, if you're thinking about buying this one, be very careful because this one's not the T girl, but this one is. And that's the Marc Jacobs Contour Palette. I'm so excited. I finally ordered some new ring lights, girl, so I can't wait because the one I have right here is broke, girl. And I have another one right here. I have a stand-up professional light right here, but I just feel like I need more lighting, girl, so I can be highlighted for days. So if you're one of those people who complain about the lighting in my videos, just know I have new lighting coming on the way, and I can't wait to light it up, girl. Another complaint that I got was from the Becca one, from the travel size one. Like, literally, okay, so, okay, you're traveling, right? So you take this with you. So this comes with it. But where does this go? This is not fit inside here. It's too big. You would think they would have made it smaller so it could fit in there. So you could dab it on, but they don't. So when I travel, I'm not going to take this with me. I have to take this and then use a brush, which is an extra brush I got to carry now. So I just wish Laura Mercy would just fix that. Like, seriously, girl, come on. So I'm going to finish beating this mug, girl. And I'm going to head over to watch the new Drew Paws Drag Race. That's going to air tonight. So I'm so excited to watch that show. Like, oh my gosh. I would say my, I would say the one I'm rooting for right now would be... Kamora Black, but even though, like, no Tino Shea, I'm pretty sure she's a lovely person. When I saw her perform, I was like, oh, girl, boring performance. But, I mean, I just love her as a person, not as a performer. Like, I love her aesthetic, the hair, the makeup, the body, 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 girl. Just so much body, girl. But then on stage, it's kind of like, girl, boring the house. All that to say, I hope she wins because I think she's a cool girl. But I don't know. That's how it starts, girl. It starts like this every season. I always pick one person I really like. By the end of the season, there's someone else that I'm like, whoa, I really love you and respect you. I love you so much. But that's what it is. But right now, it's Kamora Black. I think she's going to win. But wait next week or the week after that, it'll be someone totally different. Clock at the house, girl. Clock at the house. Now, the only one that I did meet was James Manfield. She seemed very, she seemed like a nice person. But she was in character, girl. Like, she wasn't like, oh, hey, what's up? She was like, hi, I'm James Mansfield. Give me the whole, like, personality character, girl. Which is the same thing. Like, if you ever meet Nikki Tutorials, like, in person, like, at a meet and greet, she's always like, hi, how are you? Let's take a picture. So excited you came. Like, she's very that. Like, she's just not, like, she's not, she's giving you, like, I'm working, doing this meet and greet. She's not giving you, like, oh, hey, what's up? Let's take a selfie. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's just, she's, she's on. You know what I'm saying? 
she's on like she's she's working she's on she's a full beat she's giving you what the Nikki Tutorials brand is. So I think if you go to any meet and greet, I think it's like that. I think people are always trying to just put on a happy face and get through the day and do the gig and do the meet and greets. And so they put on a character that they feel represents their brand. I think it's super rare that you meet someone who's just like, oh, hey, what's up? Which is not a bad thing. I'm not saying that's a bad thing or a good thing. I just something that I clock or I just noticed at the house. Oh, I do have a giveaway. Hold on. I've been doing a lot of giveaways on my Snapchat, but this is gonna be a YouTube giveaway for like, for y'all guys who watch here and not on Snapchat. So I have this really cool little book, right? Right? It has little cupcakes and ice cream and donuts and stuff like that and you open it up it has a little pen and it's like a little stationary notepads and, and stuff like it's so cool so if you want to win this cool thing go ahead and comment down below cupcake and I will pick a winner sometime this week on my next video but I feel at this point I'm just rambling girl make sure you smash that like button comment rate subscribe oh I do